Greetings everybody, this is Random Fix, and in today's video we're going to be putting the X-Tool D7 to the test right here. This is an OE level scan tool that has bi-directional support, which is pretty cool because now you don't have to go ahead and rip your whole car apart because you could just test the component. So if you're not sure if, why your power window is not working, you can go ahead and just roll it up and down and that will give you a better idea of what's going on. And this unit is currently under $500 for a bi-directional scan tool. So we're going to go ahead and to put this to the test and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. So we're going to go ahead and put this X-Tool D7 to the test. And if you've never used a scan tool like this before, it's very easy. All you do is go ahead and open up your door and find your OBD2 port, which is going to be right there. It looks just like that and this cable just slides right onto here then after that you want to go ahead and turn on the ignition on the vehicle and you can tell the ignition on the vehicle is on because the check engine light will be on but the motor will not be running so with our ignition on we can go ahead and use a tool now and this is the tool right here so this is going to be the main interface one thing that's kind of cool about it when you do start it up it has this nice graphic which is kind of neat and the first thing I like to actually do is to make sure that I'm connected to the internet when I am connecting to the a vehicle for the very first time and if you guys stare right up here you can tell that the unit has 100% charge and that it's actually charging and the unit is currently charging off the car's battery which is kind of nice and you can also increase the brightness right here as well and do some other things like turn on the Bluetooth airplane mode which I would suggest turning off the Bluetooth and leaving the airplane mode off and now we got the special functions here and the special functions are basically going to be 28 different special functions this scan tool right here has built into it and not every one of these functions can be used on every single make and model so that's something that you do want to be cognitive of so on my vehicle here the BMS which is basically the battery management this is not an option here on Toyota's but if you had a BMW this would definitely be an option and the best thing to do is actually email the manufacturer which I have a link to in the description box below your VIN number and they'll tell you all the different functions that this scan tool currently supports and on the special functions here you got 28 different special functions and here they are really quick some of them are going to be very basic and other ones are going to be a little more advanced then we got a report function so on the report function you can go ahead and view old reports you could play back data that you recorded and to record data you go ahead and just hit that right there and it will go ahead and record so that's a pretty great feature and you can tell that it's recording because it's blinking right there and on the right hand side we have updates so updates are already done on this unit however if you're in the special function you see a one up here or an arrow with a one or a two that lets you know there's updates available and we got settings here and the settings are pretty basic here so we got English units so you can change from metric to imperial and workshop information and we get extended functions here and the extended function basically will connect to their website and you have to change the language to English and we have a remote control function right here so this is pretty cool because once you get this ID you can go ahead and go on another device and basically control this unit from your PC or the idea is you can get X-Tool support to help you out with it, which is really a neat proposition. And right in the middle right here, we have an auto scan function. So the auto scan function works. Once you hit that button, it will go ahead and give you the options. So this is going to be a Toyota. And it, you choose the region. So this is USA. And then we have some variables in the vehicle. It will go ahead and detect the VIN and everything else on the vehicle. So hit OK and you can go ahead and do a system selection or you could do an auto scan. 
And auto scan is just basically going to check everything on the vehicle. Auto scan is actually complete here and all the different modules that are available for my vehicle got scanned. And it doesn't look like I actually have any problems on any of the modules. But if I did, it would be red and it would let you know how many problems you had. And so now I can actually go ahead and hit diagnose under the engine. And I want to show you guys these bi-directional functions here. So this is pretty cool because you could do a lot of cool things here. So for example, let's just say your car was overheating. You don't know if there was something going on with the computer, if the fan was bad, possibly the motor on the fan. What you can do is click on this right here, hit OK. And if you guys can hear that, I just turn on the fan on the vehicle. Now I can go lower. Let me show you guys that one more time. So I'm able to go ahead and turn on the fan and I can feel the fan is on, which is pretty cool. I could also hit low and I can just hit completely off. That's pretty neat. And there's a lot of different actuation tests right here you can do. And you could also read codes, clear codes and view live data. And you could also view live data on OBD, which is basically the onboard diagnostics too, which we'll go ahead and do a little bit later. And let's go to something like the door motor here and hit diagnose and go to actuation tests. And let's just say we choose this window right here, right? And this is a window here on the driver door. And let's go to the window up. Hit OK and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button here you're gonna see what happens to the window that's pretty neat and then I could also roll it down so maybe you had a vehicle the window wasn't working didn't know why maybe it's a switch maybe it's a motor well now you don't have to take the whole thing apart just to find out so you can go ahead and order the part and just install it the same day without having to take it apart and then wait around for it that's pretty neat and then let's go out of here and I'll give you guys one other example of this. Let's go to the air conditioner and actuation test and on the blower motor. And what we can do is we can go ahead and adjust the speed of the blower motor. And let's just say we wanted to make it a little bit higher. I'm able to just do it on the scan tool. So having this bi-directional scanner, if the motor, blower motor wasn't turning on, is not connected to the actual blower motor, it's connected to the actual panel here, and maybe I need a new panel versus a new motor. So this is just some of the functions here of the bi-directional features. And we also have OBD2. So if we go to Asian hit OBD2 right here you can go ahead and hit auto scan you normally want to choose the very first module as this will control the engine related data here and I can check a lot of stuff here I can read codes clear codes view live data if there's a check engine light I can check what was happening at that time with the RPMs the temperature so I can read freeze frame data. I could read information about the computer, component tests, onboard tests, O2 monitoring tests, and also I can check the inspection monitor. So if you're buying a vehicle, this is a really nice thing to do. You want to make sure all the monitors are ready because if they're not ready, you're going to have one heck of a hard time getting the tags for the vehicle. So on this vehicle here, we can see that everything is ready. And let's go ahead and just clear the data here. And I'll show you guys what happens. So the data has been cleared. And now we're going to go to the same IM monitors, which stands for inspection monitors. And now we can see that there's certain components that are incomplete. The catalyst is incomplete. The evaporative system is incomplete. The oxygen sensor, the oxygen sensor heater monitoring is incomplete. The EGR is incomplete. So this is why you always want to check a vehicle that you're buying used with the scan tool like this and if you hit home right here 
you also have a basic Android tablet. So it's pretty neat. Uh, if you wanted to surf the web, you could. And to get back to the program anytime, you can go ahead and just hit that button right there in the middle. And this is the icon you're going to click. It says Diagnose, and it brings up the X tool portal here. And now you can go ahead and troubleshoot your vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and try this on one other vehicle. That way you guys get a better sense of the capability of this scan tool for yourself. And now we're going to go ahead and try this on a different vehicle. This happens to be a Honda that I'm actually borrowing from a friend of mine because I left this printer in Texas. So we're going to see how this works. And again, I have never scanned this vehicle. And the port on this vehicle is located right down there. And it is actually gray in color. And again, I went ahead and turned the ignition on. And the engine is not running. So the auto scan on this one went well. Now all you have to do is go ahead and choose the region. This is USA. And we're going to do an auto scan. And we can do all system scan. So the scan on this is complete. So we actually have some fault codes here. One of them is going to be on the body electronics. So let's check out what's going on with the TPMS system. And here we can read the codes. So it looks like there is some kind of failure from the right rear tire and some kind of failure from the tire four pressure sensor. And what we can do, we can also hit clear codes and hit OK. Turn the ignition off. So we're going to go ahead and cycle the ignition on this off. And you normally want to wait about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you want to go ahead and cycle it back on. But do not turn on the engine. Hit OK. And now if we go ahead and read the codes, there are no codes. So that was pretty cool that we were able to delete those codes. And again, it so far, it's worked every single time for the different functions. And one thing I do want to point out about the X-Tool brand here is that since I've had it over the last month, they've released three updates. So they're going to make a constant effort to go ahead and update the tools. And if a feature is not available, I know these guys are going to keep adding more and more functions. And this unit is currently under 500 bucks, and it's bi-directional. And this makes this a really clear winner. So let's check out what the D seven actually comes with so this is the box here comes pretty well packaged up we can do key programming pin code reading smart key programming and you just got to be aware of on certain vehicles it's not going to work so like in mercedes bmw and audi the key programming will not work remote controller programming immobilizer programming battery reset steering angle reset throttle position adaptation we got the electronic parking brake adaptation, oil resets, and OBD2 diagnostics, tire pressure warning light reset, timing belt light reset, DPF, and a whole bunch of other features. And so this does have the one-click updates, and the updates are included for the first three years, and you get a two-year warranty on it, and it is going to be obviously on Android, so it's super stable. It does have a 4,000 milliamp battery built-in, which is going to allow you to use it for many hours. And inside that box, you get a much better box, which actually includes a hard shell box, the one I'm showing you here. And it has the tablet itself, which you can turn on just like that. And then we got a 16-pin OBD2 reader here for the U.S., and we have a USB-C cable. Okay, so now is my favorite part of the video is where we actually give this a random fixed tool grade so you can make a better decision for yourself. And I based it on a total of 10 different criteria. And so this actually is going to end up getting a very great score of 87 out of 100. And one of the reasons why this gets kind of a higher score 
like this is going to be the bidirectional functions. And as of right now, we don't have a lot of scan tools in the sub $500 category that actually offer this kind of support. So as time goes on, I'm sure we're going to have a different standard of what bidirectional should be and some of the different features it'll unlock more in the future. But as of right now, 87 is going to be a really good score. So if you guys are in the market for a scan tool that presents great value, that includes those three years of updates. And remember, some scan tool manufacturers will tr give you only one year of service included, and then you end up having to pay $250 per year. So by the third year, you've paid a total of $500 just for the updates. And for the $500, you'll get the scan tool plus those three years included. So that is a great function. And then the updates, honestly, guys, Xtool is making one heck of an effort to go ahead and publish these updates. And next week, I should have another video on the Xtool D8, which is also going to unlock the ECU programming on here. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. You guys will find any links, any special coupon codes that I find out there for you guys in the video description down below. And check out the whole OBD2 scan tool playlist if you guys want to learn more about how to operate these, how to hook them up, and how to troubleshoot. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys like this kind of video content and you found it to be helpful, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And even better, consider hitting the subscribe button. So that way you get notified anytime I post videos that are aimed to save you time and money. And have a great day. Thanks.